Hey, what's going on there, everybody? We're back here at the Adventure Sky to the Galaxy. Now this, this is a video that I'm actually very happy to make. So if you're not interested in a funny boot camp story on top of a funny documentary of, uh, about drill instructors that you can learn a lot, um, learn a lot about life and other things, then uh, yeah, I wouldn't watch. But if that's something you're interested in, here we go. So like I said, this is a documentary I watched once, and uh, I don't really remember all of it, but, um, you know, as it goes on, I'm just going to, you know, talk about some things and, you know. The two letters D.I. and a face like that still send chills down the spine of anyone who was ever a United States Marine. Mm. The D.I., the drill instructor, has always been so tough that when General Al Gray took over as commandant, he decided his D.I.s, both men and women, were just too damn tough. So he ordered them to be kinder and gentler. Morley Safer takes a look at just how kind and gentle they've become. Uh, that's because Mothers of America you know, an organization with politicians that hang around, you know, a bunch of mothers in their district, like, my son, you know, you were mean to him, and he failed boot camp, and, you know, oh, that's so mean, and then, you know, they have to change up the training and, you know, find other ways to do things, you know, not, that's not all of the time, but a lot of the time, that's what it is. Other times, you know, recruits die in training for various reasons, unfortunately, um, had a recruit die when I was there, it's sad, it was very unfortunate, but, um, a couple of girls that I remember being in the Marine Corps with, uh, they lied on their medical paperwork to get through, and then when they got to MOS school, they had issues, so they had to change their job because they couldn't really PT as well, and that was the issue, but it's still pretty fucking good. Fucking on your lips, you rolling your eyeballs all around, why don't you get some discipline? I don't know who thought you were the being a staff sergeant, staff sergeant Cortez, but you've got a lot to learn here at drill instructor school. Sergeant Price is the epitome of the new drill instructor. She explains the finer points of the job to the new crop of DI candidates at the drill instructor school at Paris Island, South Carolina. When you graduate from this school, you have earned the title of a United States Marine Corps drill instructor. Your primary mission for the next two years will be to instruct, to teach. The DI is the heart and soul of the Marine Corps. Over the years, there have been a number of incidents of physical abuse resulting in the death of recruits. There were always rules, but today they are strictly enforced. And some of the stories that I've heard where a recruit died was, I guess, um, my drill sergeant told me that during like Vietnam time frame when recruits are coming in, obviously, you know, you always hear a story, my boot camp was harder than yours. You know, that's all because they, if they went before you, you know, very much so may have been true and is very factually true. Uh, some of the, you know, drill instructors got pissed off at recruits and they fucking took them. I mean, this is Paris Island, South Carolina. This is like swamp as fuck. Like, I didn't really think so. You can't tell from this video, but there's some fucked ass up areas. It's swampy as hell. The drill instructors take them out there into a river. You know, the drill instructors are, some of them are fucking insane. They can swim. They can do all this crazy shit because their physical requirements is extremely high. You know what I'm saying? So, and you'll see that here a little bit, but a couple, uh, one or two of them ended up drowning and fucking dying. And uh, that's the one that I remember hearing. But, um, you know, like I said, you're preparing for some very ignorant type of, you know, thing. So, I mean, drill instructors are fucking, they're people too. They make mistakes. People die. It's unfortunate. But this is some serious, I mean, it's, it's, a, fu it's a serious game. So, I mean, it's very unfortunate. It's part of it. At the DI school, the lecturers emphasize the new compassion. If I trained recruits today the way my drill instructors trained me in 1969, they'd put me under the brake. It's a very fine line that the new DIs must tread. In the good, bad old days, a DI could get away with something short of murder. Can we use foul language in front of recruits? No. No, you can't. You are not allowed to use foul language in the presence or in the vicinity of a recruit. So how does the new compassionate drill instructor deal with those recruits on their very first day? I'm your senior drill instructor. Our mission is to train each one of you to become a Marine. I will treat you as I do my fellow Marines with firmness, fairness, dignity, and compassion. I remember this moment. This is a you know, receiving moment because you're in boot camp for about a week. And, like, you know, they have drill instructors that will yell at you off the bus and stuff. And then they'll... You know, a week they'll have like a drill instructor who takes you and your platoon around, you know, because they have like, they'll pick up like five platoons at once and then all five of you will have one drill instructor who'll take you around and just walk you around and be like, this is what's over here, this over here, this over here. 
you know, you're dressed a certain way and all the other recruits can tell that you're a fucking brand new and they just look at you like, you know, you're a boot, which a boot means you're like the brand newest person, like straight, you know, out, off the bus and, you know, you know, rightfully so, like you're trying to, you know, earn the respect of other people, even recruits have been there for a week, they've been there a week longer than you, you know, it's the type of thing, but this moment is like, you know, when you're awake, you're like, oh shit, we done, re like I'm sitting here, I'm not at home, not playing video games, like, oh shit, a lot of people, you know, regret this moment. I didn't because I knew that this is what I wanted to do at the time was be a fucking Marine. But it's oh shit because they're about to fuck you up. Get out now! For these young men, these are the first few moments of you, two months you, in a kind of okay, benevolent right. hell. You gonna find your respective number and get online, line, you understand? Yes, sir! No, you understand? Yes, sir! Ready? Move! Kinder or gentler or not, the point of this abuse is to train a grunt from day one to follow his sergeant's orders, to create cohesion under stress, discipline that will pay off under the real stress of battle. No, sir! The DI is a living embodiment of war, which for two months of basic training, every recruit must endure. Oof. Uh, it's actually three months now. It's 13 weeks. But uh, like I said, back in when this was May 1989, you know, that was the requirement then. But um, my squad bay looked exactly the same. It might have been this same one because I can see trees outside the windows. And uh, 3rd Battalion, which is where I was at, used to be out by the woods. And uh, that was some serious, delirious shit out there. And uh, like I said, you know, every time you move, you look, your eyeballs look left. And then they look back right and drill instructor's always fucking right in your face like, why the fuck are you looking around? You know what I'm saying? Gets your ass every time. And it's fucking hilarious until it's you. And that's why it's so hard to stand there because when someone else is getting ripped, you're fucking dying laughing. And if you snicker, they'll fucking whoop your ass too. And it's fucking great. Not great when it's happening. When you look back, on, oh, it smiles because you can laugh and be like, haha, these bitches are getting it right now. Right now, someone's getting it. Haha. When you get those privates, you're going to have to have a loud command voice. This is the, uh, the gunnery sergeant who's a Vietnam fucking veteran. As you can see here by the, vet, the, you know, the ribbons he's got. That's a salty stack. It's a combat veteran from Vietnam. If I can see correctly, I can't really see that well. But, you know, a couple of the ribbons I recognize. And, one, you know, Vietnam is the you know, bright yellow one. But anyway, he's teaching all the uh, sergeants... Uh, once you've been in the Marine Corps for like around four, three or four years, uh, there's a thing called the Hearst Team. It's an acronym. They come around and say, hey, you need a B billet, which is a job that you have to have that is, um, it's a, a job that helps feed you know, new recruits back into the Marine Corps. It's an instruction, a teaching job like this guy right now, as he's here teaching these fucking guys and girls about how to be drill instructors. This is his B billet because he's teaching people how to be drill instructors. Being a drill instructor is a B billet. He's, you know, also technically a drill instructor too, but um, you know, he runs the school for drill instructors. Where once you're a corporal and you're like, I don't know if I want to get out of the Marine Corps or stay in, they'll come in like, Hey, you want to be a drill instructor? And a lot of people are motivated, and like this guy with the, you know, the skunk top, high and tight, you know, the little atoll island, you know, high and tight, the highest and tight haircut, motivated. You know, I've been there. I've motivated, and I still, you know, I don't care. I love it. Um, you know. Get back to the Marine Corps and to America because, you know, you're the best of the best of the best, sir, you know. So you might as well teach other best of the best of the best sirs how to do what you think or that, you know, that you've proven to be right. And also you can stay in the Marine Corps because if you don't do a B-billet and you're active duty, uh, you're probably not staying in at all. They're going to be like, mm, you don't have a B-billet. There's other ones, which I can do in another video later if you'd like, but uh, a drill instructor is one of the like actually there's a handful a little bit more b billets that you have to have in order to stay competitive in the small marine corps that's the only way it's going to work oh, yeah. Dead nudes, uh! yeah, no, come right. here yeah. Yo, yeah. come here the guys in the yellow shirt yeah, are sergeants yeah, yeah. the di's bark his command voice is his most important weapon it is good morning it's a morning morning not afternoon morning 
They're not born with it. They learn it from Sergeant Chimsek. Half step. Punch. Squad. Hook. You receive the command. Aye. So right now the um, the drill masters, which are these guys walking around here in the campaign hats, like Smokey the Bear campaign covers, um, they're teaching these NCOs. Like I said, these people that are in the camouflage here, they're NCOs in the Marine Corps. They've been in for years. Whether they've been to Iraq, shot people, you're a gangster, badass. Like you come back to drill instructor school or a lot of schools in the Marine Corps, they will treat you back to recruit status. Even if you're like, I've been in the Marine no, 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 you're a recruit, you're back to being a bitch, like not completely, but they'll put you back to recruit status and they have to reinstill that discipline into you. And if you've, you know, like I said, you're disciplined, you want to be there, you're going to be out competing all the other people drilling and stuff. So now they're teaching them drill, which is, when I was in boot camp, the most important thing that you do there. Um, there's drill competitions as recruits that you compete against other platoons. If you win, you get trophies and it's absolutely amazing. I'll do a video on that. But um, here, they're uh, just reteaching them drill, which you do a lot in the Marine Corps. But when you become a drill instructor, you're going to be the drill instructor, hence the name. And you're going to be teaching recruits drill, which is what the Marines are all about. This must be given as the heels car together. <clears throat> there was no command voice there at all. I didn't hear nothing. <laughs> I know, see, I can see. You're using your throat too much. You gotta learn to get it from down there. You need to relax everything and get it from the diaphragm. It's gonna take a little work. By the right flank, hurt. Sergeant Rodriguez. So, like I said, he teaches you how to yell because, like, a lot of people when they get into the boot camp, you know, the drill instructor will scream in your face and be like, "Yo, fucking just something," and people scream. Like I said, they are a lot of kids. This is America. A lot of kids actually are privileged, even though they pretend like they're not. Some of them, a lot of people are not, but. You know, on average, you get just average kids. Uh, they never had to scream before. Never had to open their mouth and scream, so they get a lot of, like, squeak and, like, a lot of really weird sounds. Like, I've heard some fucking voices blow out, and that shit is fucking hilarious. And, like, I've even seen some drill instructors laugh, and then they saw me see them laugh, and then I got fucking destroyed. Because you're not allowed to see them smile or eat or fucking laugh or something. You just, you, you know, you didn't, you didn't see that, and you die for it. So, um... Like I said, they do that to break your voice in. You'll have a raspy voice for a while, and then when you come back, you'll have a more manly voice. Because like I said, if you're in combat and someone's dying, or you're, you know, you get shot and you're like, and you have a whimper, like not only are you gonna die alone because no one saved you, like that's just not, like if you're offended by that thought, like you're in the, you're, you've, you're in the wrong place. Go back to, you know, doing some other things. Like not that this is like the most, you know, richest or this is the greatest, most like prestigious like famous athlete like this is the marine corps like we love fucking marine corps stuff like it doesn't last forever so take it serious while you're here veteran marine di in training can you do that command voice to do it on me can i do command yeah. voice sir practically sir i can <laughs> i think i can give me an order or something what is wrong with you recruit look at you you look like a stain <laughs> Where'd you learn that voice, or did you invent it? Well, sir, it works this way. Did you, when you when you initially get to boot camp, you remember how your DI used to talk. Yeah. He, every Marine remembers that. It's a voice that, it's, it's like little voice in the back of your head. In the back of your head. Yeah, you, I'm, I'm mongoloid. You know, I could remember for a fact how my drill instructors used to talk. Two memorable voices and... I remember how all my drill instructors talk, and... Uh... Like, literally, like, they're standing right next to me right now. And that's kind of why I don't really make mistakes or do a lot of stupid stuff because it would be really unfortunate, you know, drill instructor, you know. I I, I actually saw my drill instructor in the fleet, you know, one day, my senior drill instructor, because you have, like, four or five, the three to five drill instructors, you know, in the platoon. And um, I saw him out in the fleet, and I was very happy because, you know, he taught me a lot of things about the Marine Corps and, um, you know, great dude. But uh, these two guys right here are veteran drill instructors from way, 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 way back in the day. And, um, you know, this guy looks like the dude over here. And, you know, like the real dude. And then this guy in the red shirt is just, you know, this guy's fucking hilarious. You'll, you'll get a kick. And these are some real OGs, like actual certified, you know, government issued savages. Faces, retired Marines, retired DIs, Sergeants Melton and Nickel. They are appalled by the new soft approach. Yeah. When I came here, 
You know, my drill instructors, it was a hands-on when I came there with me. Hands-on meaning? I got slapped around, but I expected it. You can see how hard he was bobbing his head when he was like, sitting there saying, when I came here, and then he leaned in and then like the eyebrows covered his eyes and it got dark. And he's like, I was hands on. Like he was bumping like, man, he, I've heard a story from um, <laughs> my, uh, my roommate when I was in Okinawa, his dad was a Marine in Vietnam and he actually served in Vietnam. He was infantry, a bunch of wild stories. Um, he said that when he got to Paris Island, they got off the bus and the drill instructor was like, Get on the, the yellow footprints, which is the iconic thing. The uh, drill instructor was like, get on the yellow footprints, you scum. And he, like, gets there, and then, like, you hear bang, bang. And, like, they looked over, and they had, like, a... I'm sure it was fake. Hopefully it was fake. Maybe it wasn't. The drill instructors were dra dragging um, what should have been another uh, drill instructor dressed as a recruit in civilian clothes, like, dragging him into a, like, across in front of the recruits off the fresh off the bus and throwing him into a dumpster and had, like, ketchup on his shirt.